So first question is, of course, how do you feel this moment? You've just landed, you've just come back from space. Well, I feel remarkably great. Um, I mean, obviously, as soon as we landed and the hatch opened and we stepped out, there were a lot of different sensations. I mean, first, uh, I had the, the normal dizzy dizziness associated with coming back because uh, suddenly your your ears, where your sense of balance is located, has to readapt to gravity. So you, you kind of feel like you've just stepped off of a merry-go-round and, and your head is spinning a little bit. Uh, but um, the, the strongest feeling I had was sort of a, yeah, I was just amazed at how heavy my body felt, uh, my legs and my arms. I felt like I was carrying around, you know, a huge weight on my shoulder and it, taking each step was like, like being in the gym and, and, and having to, to, well, like working out in the gym. It was, it was impressive. But otherwise, apart from that, I mean, I feel great. How did you experience from the moment you went through the atmosphere? Um, I mean, the, there's a lot of different phases and each of them different. So to begin with, when you enter the upper parts of the atmosphere uh, and you come deeper and deeper in, it's, there's this fireworks show outside and you, you can feel the heat and you see past the windows all these bright lights shooting past the capsule. Um, and actually it gets so hot that the windows start to char, they become black and, and at some point you can no longer see out of the windows because they've almost been burnt up. Um, so that's the first part uh, and then you get really pressed into your seat as you dig deeper and deeper into the atmosphere. And we had uh, quite high G loads, we came up to 4.4 G's, so we really got uh, pressed in and it was a, this G load was maintained for quite a long time, so we, we really, really got pressed into our seats. Um, and then the next phase starts when the parachute deploys, and that is like the craziest roller coaster ride ever. I mean, the capsule gets just slung everywhere under the parachute, and I, I think at one point I think I even uh, <laughs> let out a uh, yeah a, a shout of excitement because it was it was really fun, almost like being on a on a roller coaster. Um, and then the last phase, of course, is the actual touchdown, and that's also. I'm, is, is an experience in itself. You don't really know exactly when it comes, so you just kind of sit there and wait, and then all of a sudden it's this big crash, and then we, we fell over, so another crash, and then the capsule rolled, um, and then suddenly the movement stops, and, and you kind of try to figure out how you're oriented, because you don't really have any sense of, of, of how you're lying. Was there at any time a point where you felt, during the whole mission, that you regret it and, and, and you had the feeling maybe this is going to get, get wrong and I want to get out of here? No, I mean, this has been a dream of mine. Uh, and so it's something I've been looking forward to. I mean, the experience, of course, there's been difficulties um, along the way. I mean, when we ended up having to do the 51 hour rendezvous on Soyuz before getting to the space station, I think that was probably the hardest part of the journey. It's not because it's, I mean, it's simply because it's, it's equivalent to having a, a car ride for 51 hours. I mean, imagine sitting in your car and, and just driving for 51 hours. I mean, after 51 hours, you get pretty tired of, of just sitting there. Uh, and we don't have any books. We don't have any music. We don't have any movies on board Soyuz. Um, we have a window to look out of, but the Soyuz rotates. Uh, to maintain passive stability and to keep the solar rays pointed to the sun. So, uh, and so you can't really look out the windows too much because then you start getting uh, dizzy because it's also your first day in space. Um, so you can kind of glance out for short periods of time and, and, and that's it. So, I mean, it, 51 hours is a long time, but apart from that, it, everything was, was such a big experience that, uh, no, I, I would gladly do it again.